What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV and what is, as far as I know, the world's largest in-game currency only Call of Duty Infinite Warfare supply drop opening of all time. In the small amount of research I've done through my time on YouTube, I've never seen a player open the sheer amount of items in a single sitting as you'll be witnessing today. I've been hoping for a new update to come in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, bringing with it new base in-game variants. Variants for the weapons we've had since day one in this game. Unfortunately, it has been around eight months since my last massive supply drop opening with the Mark II update. We have yet to see new variants come from that day. And so I promised my viewers recently that I would open my massive stash of loot at the first sign of DLC weapons post DLC 4. Well, DLC 4 has come and gone, and today we've been given access to the Venom X launcher as well as two melee weapons with their own unique epic variants in the Quartermaster collection. I guess it's time to open some supply drops. Now because of the sheer amount of items I'll be opening, I'll have to cut this intro short. But I thank you in advance for your viewership watching this video. Hitting the like button is always appreciated. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. All of my social media links will be linked in the description. I've amassed 172 rare supply drops as well as 31 unique or 61 total inventory hacks in my Quartermaster collection. We'll be starting with rare supply drops. I'll also be using the remainder of my keys, the 455 keys, if I deem it necessary. I may save those for a future special hack. But without further ado, oh boy. Purchasing rare supply drop. Now hopefully I'll be getting fairly lucky today. I mean, I am opening a ton of items. At McDonald's this morning, I had my... Order number come up as 777. I figure it's my lucky day. We've got a legendary Cobra accessory. Pretty cool. I'm going to try to keep this video under an hour, so I'm going to be moving at a fairly quick pace throughout these first supply drops. There's 170 of them to go. We've got the epic bacon camouflage for the launchers. I've never quite in, I've never quite got on board with the camouflages in uh in this game but already we've got Reyes which is awesome that's one of the items I was really hoping for with this supply drop opening was the hero kits because as I've said I've been saving up all of my items for the longest time I haven't been given the opportunity to get some of these items like the hero bodies or some of the new camos some of the new uh, variants now a lot of these variants I'm probably going to have duplicates on even though I have been saving up my items for the longest time I've been still opening up the occasional special hacks. Some of those special hacks that you purchased automatically open, so I couldn't save them for you guys. But for the most part, I've been buying with my keys and holding on to each of the individual special deal hacks for each week. Sometimes they just open themselves and I couldn't help it, which did put me ahead for this opening. Now I've got a whole bunch of items that when I get to the hacks that are dupe protected, I won't be getting again. We're getting a couple variants here. I'm honestly hoping that by the end of this... Oh, oh, daily activity bonus. There's uh, 35 more keys for us. Wasn't expecting that one. But uh, I guess we'll just keep going here. <laughs> it's pretty good. FTL head spotter. I've already got the RPR Evo modular, I believe. Or maybe not. I might have the Mark II modular. That's the thing with Mark IIs. They always kind of get in your way in, in terms of duplicates. You're playing through and you're like, oh, I've already got that one and it gives you the Mark II or it gives you the regular one where you had the Mark II. That was a big source of controversy in my last massive opening. Not as massive as this, obviously, but I complained in the Mark II video about how Mark IIs were kind of ruining the game, which I've just got that shotgun. I'm pretty sure I just unlocked that a couple seconds ago, but Mark IIs, I'm they're not the biggest deal in the world especially at this point for me when i'm a master prestige rank i think i'm master prestige 20 something i'm not really sure i haven't played this game too frequently recently i've been really on destiny 2 a lot That's not too shabby. 
And speaking of Destiny 2, I'll have my Faction Wars video probably coming out tomorrow. After I'm done this opening, I'll be picking my faction and getting into it over there. I've already got the Mauler Mammoth and the Mauler Mammoth Mark II. That was kind of neat how I got two Maulers in the same drop that time. And they were both duplicates, of course. Rex Warfighter Body. I'm going to have a lot of uniforms after this. I've just kind of noticed. Because I haven't been collecting those uniforms all this time. Mostly when deals pop up in the Quartermaster, the ones that give you the items right away for salvage or for keys, it's more or less often weapons. It's like, oh, get an epic assault rifle for 3,000 salvage this week, and you spend your salvage and you get your variant. So a lot of the accessories and a lot of the uh, outfits are what I'm going to be seeing the most of without duplicates. Also, by the time I'm done opening all of these uh, these free crates, I'll probably have enough salvage to purchase every other weapon in the game. Like, all of the purchasable ones that are base weapons that you can buy, I'll easily be able to buy a lot of them. Because, well, one, I'll have all of the ones that I get, and then I'll have to buy whatever I don't. Three duplicates in that one. Nice. Just a bunch of salvage. See, in Modern Warfare Remastered, a game that I haven't played in a very long time, unfortunately, you want all the duplicates because the duplicates set you ahead and they give you that advantage of you can go ahead and buy what you want, you can buy the weapons, you can buy all the things that are interesting. Whereas in this game, salvage doesn't really do you much once you hit a certain level, once you've experienced enough of the game, it's kind of lost on you. couple commons and a rare. I'm going to have a lot of double XP tokens as well. Again, something that I don't exactly need because I'm already master prestige, whatever level. I don't think I'm going to be hitting max level in this game. Ever since they added the update to increase master prestige to 30, I think it's insane that there's already people out there that have prestiged 30 times. That's hitting level 55 31 times. That's insanity. I mean, if this is the only game you play, but this year has been a really split year for me. I've been doing Modern Warfare Remastered, I've been doing Infinite Warfare, and I'm jumping back and forth, and then doing other games on top of that, B-Tide Plays, so it's more difficult for me to hop back and forth between the games and still be a very high level. I'm doing it pretty well. As I've said, I'm like Master Prestige 20-ish, something like that, something around there, I'm not exactly sure. And in Modern Warfare Remastered, I think I'm Prestige 15, but there's only 20 total Prestige. And then a level 1000 in there as well. A couple rare items. More double XP tokens. Man, the next double XP weekend, I'm going to be absolutely spazzing out on that double XP. We got another launcher camouflage. It seems like all the epic camouflages that are dropping are for launchers. And there's the Banshee Siren Shotgun, which I don't believe I have yet. I've made a few videos on the Banshee Siren. I did my original epic weapon review, or epic variant review, and then I've had a couple follow-ups because they've updated the weapon. Apparently it's very powerful now because it increases your damage when sliding. So you run, you slide, and you shoot the weapon, and it does extra damage for some reason. I don't know how it actually takes the extra damage from sliding and, and twists that into the epic ability of draining enemy hearing, but anything to make it better because originally it was really bad but it's pretty cool that i got it now i can say that i i can wipe that one off the uh off the old quartermaster list i don't have to purchase it with my salvage anymore not that i would have anyways because i've already reviewed it i'm mostly going to be going for the epics that i haven't yet reviewed in my epic variant review series so that i can cover them for you guys Now, I forgot to do the math for you guys before beginning today's video on how many keys worth of supply drops I'm opening right now. I'm just going to tell you that it's a lot. Um, 455 keys is what I had before I started opening, before I got that daily sign-in bonus. 455 keys translates to 15.12 something uh, rare supply drops. So 455 is 15, and I'm opening 172. You can pretty much bet that this is a lot of keys worth of supply drops. And this is just the supply drops part. This isn't even the interesting part yet. 
I want to say like skip to minute 30 if you want to see all the hacks being open. But even then, I might not even be there at minute 30. That's why I said I need to pick up the pace in this video a little bit because I have so much to open. I had to skip pretty pretty quickly into the video. I usually have an extended intro on these videos and I kind of talk about the circumstances of my opening, but we gotta fly through this because there is a lot to go here and I do not trust my capture card with a live recording past an hour. If you didn't know this was a live reaction recording, obviously there's no other way to do a supply drop opening in my opinion. So all of my reactions are completely live while I'm doing the opening. And we're still getting a lot of commons, rares, but it, what what can you really expect? There's two commons and a rare. That's pretty well the worst type of opening you can get from a rare supply drop is two commons and a rare. Though I have seen a fair amount of legendaries and epics so far, which is actually pretty cool. Like we, That's a new accessory. I don't use accessories in this game. I'm, I'm not a big fan of them, nor do I really use gestures. I know, I'm kind of lame that way. I like to just keep everything simple. I'll use the calling cards and emblems, obviously, because you have to. Well, I have my own custom emblem for Black Tide TV, but I do use the calling cards. I like mixing up my calling cards from time to time. And I do use the outfits, though I've mostly been using my Black Sky outfits recently because I want to show them off that I do have Black Sky, which I had planned a video to teach you guys how to get the Black Sky gear for each of your characters the easiest, but... That, that time has come and gone almost. If you guys want to see that video, you definitely got to let me know in the comment section down below. I was planning on making the video. I still have the gameplay recorded. I just haven't got to it yet. Wow, lots of extra salvage there. And we're not even through 62 supply drops. We're already at 12 minutes into this video. We got to smash through these free crates because these are so uninteresting for the most part. This is how most supply drop openings go, but I mean, we gotta get to those hacks, man. That's what people wanna see. That's what people are paying the money for. An RC8 accessory. Nice, nice. I think that was a duplicate too. Damn. I'm already seeing a lot of duplicates for new items that I've never been able to acquire before. Legendaries and epics are pretty much what I'm going for. There's a rare Ragin EMX I'm also hoping to get as many Quartermaster items as possible because those are the items that you guys really want to see in terms of my other videos when I'm making reviews on weapons. You guys want to see those epic weapon reviews, epic variant reviews of the Quartermaster collection items. So I'm trying my best to get as many Quartermaster weapons as I can because then those will be wiped off the list when I go to do the Quartermaster dupe protected items. And hopefully I'll get more epics so that I can make those reviews for you. There's a plasma light machine gun camouflage. That one's different. All the other epic camouflage I've been given so far have been for launchers. Rack 9 volatile. I think I have that one already, which is unfortunate. I want the other legendary, um, legendary shotguns. We finally got an epic weapon from the Quartermaster Collection, the Axe Headsman which I have been waiting for for quite some time. It'll be an interesting one to review in Epic, in Epic Variant Reviews if I ever get to it on time. I mean, I might have a lot more to work with after today's video. That's another thing you should look out for after today's video. When I'm done this massive opening, I'll probably have a few more Epic Variants to choose from, and I will likely post on my Twitter page a brand new variant poll, and I'll ask you guys which of the four options you'd like to see in the next Epic Weapon Review, Epic Variant Review, here on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on Black Tide TV. So if you're interested in seeing a particular epic variant, if you're interested in learning more about a particular epic variant that you see me unbox today, definitely let me know in the comment section or check out my Twitter page at Black Tide TV, links in the description, and you can vote on the poll that I'll be posting probably after today's video. Now, I think it's interesting that I've opened this many and I've only seen, what, two epic weapons? Three epic weapons if you count the Mauler Mammoth, but I've already, I already own both versions of the epic Mauler Mammoth. Uh, the epic, yeah, the Mauler Mammoth and the Mauler Mammoth Mark II. There's the legendary Ragin EMX, so that's definitely helping me going forward. Boots off the ground taunt. I wish it showed the little taunt animation, like, in 
the supply drop instead of just showing the taunt symbol if it actually showed like a little character there doing the taunt that would have just been an intuitive design addition that i would have added instead of seeing the guy with the muscles actually show the taunt being done in the little box that you see there that would have been really interesting the gestures kind of show you what's going on with how they put the hands on the symbol on the supply drop reaver elusive wreck eclipse i want to see if i have those i don't have the wreck eclipse yet the r3k eclipse I'm so used to using the wrecked epic variant that I just call the regular one the wreck now. A couple rares and a common. I think for time constraint, I'm going to hold on to my extra keys when we're done all of these rare supply drops because we're only about halfway through the rare supply drop so far and we are already burning up time. There is a lot of hacks to open and I do not want to hold up any of you guys anymore in today's video. It's going to be a long video. If you haven't already, go pause the video, go pop some popcorn, come back, <laughs> or turn on your favorite game. That's how I watch my YouTube. I have my YouTube on my laptop in front of me while I'm also playing on my TV when I'm playing like Call of Duty or something. I'll play Search and Destroy so I don't have to pay attention as much. I'll just get my stuff or I'll play, I'll die, and then I'll just watch YouTube. I would recommend you do that now. I don't know how entertaining I can be all on my own. Lots of commons and rares still. Commons, commons. There's a legendary excavation merc head. I can't wait to see all the combinations of items I have in terms of outfits, like heads and bodies. I already got the one hero gear. That's what I'm really looking for is those hero gears. I want Salter so bad. Oh, I love Salter. I want it. I'll use, I'll use nothing else but FTL rig for the rest of the game if I get Salter. Excellent. Guaranteed. That's the third or fourth time I've seen that M2187 Storm. It almost seems like the Quartermaster collection items drop more frequently than other items, like the variants from the Quartermaster. I feel like I get them all the time. That Phantom Emblem is brand new. They just recently added in the rig emblems and calling guards. Chameleon sniper rifle camouflage. I can't say that I've ever seen that one before. Definitely interesting. I'm excited to use some of these customization items, some of these new variants in the videos that I have coming up for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I can show them off to you guys, some of the new camos, some of the new uh, outfits and taunts and stuff. I, won't, I don't use taunts too, much, too often. Gestures, that is, the in-game ones. Though I will use the taunts in the uh, final winner's circle if I end up there. Which, in the majority of my videos that I produce to you guys, I'm always in the top three. I try to keep myself on a good ratio and a good win. There's the M2187 again. Someone wants me to use that gun. It's because I reviewed it poorly in my review, isn't it? Bastard. I hope I get the epic one, though. I still haven't had the epic salvo variant. That would be nice. Nice little addition. Hailstorm Culling. That's a legendary that I'm not sure I have. Oh, I do have it. All right. A legendary variant duplicate is only worth 100. That seems kind of outlandish. Now, I haven't been paying attention exactly, but I haven't seen too many Mark II variants dropping, which is kind of scaring me a little bit because when I get to my hacks, I'm probably going to see a ton of Mark II's like in the dupe protected. I'll probably just see Mark II's of all the items that I already have instead of the items that I don't have like the epic variants. But we'll have to see. So Ninja Shipyard Calling Card. That's from the campaign, I believe. Forward Salute, double XP token. Rack 9 Precision Strike. That's a Mark II. There's a Mark II. See, I said something, and now I'm going to get Mark IIs for the rest of this video. <laughs> That's usually how it works. EBR 800 Osiris. Nice, nice. I have the Mark II of the Osiris. I don't have the regular one, so that's pretty awesome. Speed Demon, double XP tokens. I'm getting a lot of double XP. I'm already at 115 double XP tokens. I think I started with five. UAV accessory. I think they've made an accessory for every single score streak in the game that you can hang from your gun. 
That's something I definitely don't use. L for loser gesture. Leaf emblem, I have that. Stars and stripes, I have that camouflage for a number of different weapon classes. I'm not sure about launchers. Clearly not for launchers. Axion, easy, I have that. Hellfire calling card, it's kind of lame. I've noticed that a lot of the uh, cosmetic items like calling cards, camouflages, even gestures, a lot of the ones that they've been adding in recently have all been common rarity, like emblems, calling cards. They all fall under common, whereas originally when they were adding in new items, they were like legendaries epic, so they would be harder to drop. And they would drop in place of higher variants, like legendary epic variants. Whereas now, everything's kind of been dropped a little bit. All of the calling cards, emblems, even some of the gestures, as I've said. Even some of the camouflages. Actually, a lot of the camouflages have been dropping at common rarities and rare rarities, making them a lot easier to find. And so they're not taking the place of higher level loot drops like weapons. Which is a good move on the part of, Infin of an Infinity Ward. I would much rather see an epic weapon variant than an epic camouflage or an epic uh, taunt. Like, I'd rather see the weapons, and I think that goes for just about everyone playing this game. There's a Mark II RVN, which, well, that's great. We'll get that out of the way. One of those Mark II variants that are going to be a pain when it comes to opening my Quartermaster exclusive uh, hacks, which I have a number of. Rex Warfighter Body, epic. I like how it, I don't like it, but it's just so lame. Like when you get an epic variant in this game or an epic item, it's not a big deal anymore. It's like, yeah, I got an epic, who cares? Whereas in Advanced Warfare, that was the shit. When you got an elite variant, they were called elite variants back then. And every time you got an elite, it would be like, elite. And it would, the guy would say it, oh, I made you so pumped. You would hear it coming too, like you'd hear the guy, like his voice pick up and you're like, oh my god, I just got an elite. It was so exciting. I think we're all just too accustomed to the, uh, to the game now that we're, to the loot box game that we're all just like, yeah, I got an epic, well, it's, it's like not a big deal anymore. That's a fine hardware. I think there's a different sound for like the commons, rares, legendaries, epics. The G-Rail V3, I think I have the V3. I do have the V3, look at me go. I've also got the V4, I've already, I'm already done the G-Rail. And I'll have an epic variant review of that coming out soon as well. That'll be probably one of the options in that epic variant review poll that I'll post on my Twitter page later. Prism accessory, gay pride, love it. 31 remaining, oh, we're getting there boys, we're getting there. I've seen people do supply drop openings with 30 rare crates. I think I've personally done supply drop openings with only 30 crates. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> this is insanity. Like, we're just coming to the end of the rare supply drops. And then we've got all those other hacks, all the things where we're actually going to get epic items, where we're going to get legendary items, where we're going to get quartermaster collection items. Like ridiculous. We're 23 minutes into this video and we're only just now coming to the point where other people are starting their videos. As I've said, to my knowledge, this is the world's largest supply drop opening in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare using in-game currency only. I have seen people like uh, Noah J do things like with where they go and they buy COD points. I don't like buying COD points. I've never bought COD points personally, but I have seen people like Noah J go and buy. There's the Axe Headsman again. Holy crap. Duplicate. I have seen people like that go and buy a whole bunch of COD points and open like a thousand crates or whatever in a, in a single sitting. But I think it's much more impressive to do it all with in-game currency, like just saving up, working hard, at the game and just just unlocking everything from scratch with no money spent this is the way that was it was originally intended to be before you know activision got their little greedies in there double xp tokens i don't i didn't think uh were we not at 155 double xp tokens before i just got five more and it didn't count that's strange Circuit board, handgun, camouflage. I wonder if there's a if there's a cap on how many double XP tokens you can have. 
DMR1 Spectacle. That's an older one that I don't think I've ever reviewed on the channel. I may have reviewed it, I may have not. I can't even remember what I've reviewed in my Epic Variant Reviews series. Back-to-back -back epics, we got the Red Acted Taunt, which I'm not sure what it does, and the Rack 9 Volatile again. As I've said, I want the other two legendary Rack 9s, please. The Lance, my namesake, or the... whatever the other one's called. The God... God's End? God's... I don't know what it's called, but it's apparently really good. And I'd like to experience it for myself. UV, I've already got that FTL head. 14 rare supply drops. I'm getting so excited. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to open up all these items. I want to get to my hacks. I want to get some good stuff. Oh, yeah. We're actually making good time now. We're only about a... Actually, I think my... My recommendation for skipping to 30 minutes into the video to see the hacks was pretty bang on. We're at like 26 minutes. Wow. More double XP tokens. Am I going to go up this time? 160. It went up this time. Okay. I guess the last double XP tokens just didn't count for some reason. That's nice. Bombardment. There's another double XP token. That one counted too. Apparently they think I need to uh, double my XP a little bit. I'm jealous. The horns gesture. I didn't get a single duplicate there. Trek 50 Bushwhacker, I've already got it. I might have the Mark II. I think I might have both, even. Go from no dupes to all dupes. Steel Dragon accessory. Score. <laughs> They've basically just taken everything that's in the game and made it into an accessory as well. All of the score streaks, all of the uh, specialist rigs, like all of the specialist weapons. I know there's an eraser accessory. There's the Mark II Bushwhacker, which I said I think I have, which I do. There you go. Proving it to you. I told you so. Slice of Life, the uh, prototype calling cards. Only three rare supply drops to go, and then we're into the good stuff. Oh, yes. Cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. Godsend! That's what it's called. I told you there was a god something. And apparently it's really good. The gambler gives you a new perk every three kills, and sharpshooter increases your damage. I mean, a, a shotgun with increased damage. That's why it's good right there. But the lance I've heard is the best, which, pff, of course it is. Alrighty. Now that we're done our supply drops... We're up to 11,000 11, salvage. That's quite a bit of salvage, com considering I didn't have too much to begin with because I had been spending all of my salvage on, you know, all the these hacks and stuff. Like when they pop up, you buy them with your salvage or you buy them with your keys. That's why my keys and salvage is pretty low. But I mean, if I had just been saving keys and salvage, those numbers would be astronomical right now. But instead, we've got this. Now I'm going to move directly on to legendary supply drops. We'll have to verify that. Basically, when you're opening your supply drops, wow, legendary salvage, that was money well spent. Basically, when you're spending, when you're opening your supply drops, you should always aim for the widest available options first. So supply drops, regular supply drops first, anything dupe protected, anything particular goes last. Because I've seen a lot of people doing their supply drop openings wrong. They'll get like, for example, the triple play, which has 10 supply drops. It's got an epic hack and it's got an epic calling card. And they'll go right ahead and open the epic hack and the epic calling card, which are both dupe protected before opening up their 10 random supply drops. You always do the supply drops first because you might get the items that are specific to those other supply drops. Say you open the epic and it gives you an epic NV4. If you already got the Epic N before in the rare supply drop and that one's dupe protected, that one's going to remain dupe protected and you're not going to get the N before, you're going to get something else. So you should always, always, always open up your wider dispersion items first. So supply drops, anything not dupe protected first. That's why this part of the video is going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to have to go through and carefully select which items I want to open first. There's two legendaries in one in one crate. I mean, yeah, I'll take that. I'll have to go through and carefully select which ones I want to open up first. I just got that alpha loser gesture. 
so that I don't get any duplicates so that I can neutralize my duplicate ability. I've got a couple epic items. I've got a, an epic supply drop, an epic whatever. So I'm going to try and go from rare to epic or rare to legendary to epic. Open my epics at the very, very end. Another two legendaries in that supply drop. And they're both duplicates. I think it should always be an option in these games. When there are different tiers, say common, rare, legendary, epic. There should be legendary and epic supply drops as well. Make them a lot more expensive, but instead of spending your points on rares and commons, I'd like to rather save up and buy a bunch of epic supply drops. All right. So these are epic Mark II weapons, do protected. These are Quartermaster Collection prototypes of any rarity. Now those are not do protected. Handgun, that's a rare better handgun. I'll just do a rare better handgun. That's one item. UDM Mod 3, which is actually a quartermaster item. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, legendary Sniper, Legendary, Epic Mark II Weapon. We've already seen that. I'm going to look for anything rare first. A rare or legendary weapon from the quartermaster collection. Now, all of these Warfighter gears, I don't really care. Like, all these different individual gear items, I can go ahead and open them because I don't really care what rarity I get of them. When it comes to rarities, I'm hoping to get the weapons. So, if there's anything weapon-related, I want to get the best rarity. So, one piece of Merc gear. Another common Merc head, which I might already have. Works right. Synaptic gear. It would be neat to get a hero gear out of these. That would be very, very lucky. There are so many options. These are heads and bodies. So there are a lot of different items in the loot pool for these for these ones. FTL gear. I've got pretty much one gear for every different uh, specialist. Cold-blooded FTL hat. I've got three striker gear hacks. Striker body. Mercury, which I think I've already got. Not sure. Nice. Guess not. We got another one here, and it's plated striker body. It looks really shiny. It actually looks pretty neat. Almost like X-ray, almost. I, I can't wait to see some of these in-game. And the multi-tool striker body. Three bodies for the striker. I'll take it. Phantom gear hack. Let's see what we've got. Basalt, which I already have. Guarantee I already have that. I, I don't know if you get duplicate salvage for those because they're special. Now this is an epic weapon accessory. This is a legendary or better weapon accessory. So we'll start with the legendary weapon accessories. These could be legendaries or epics. I think I got the Task Force 141 earlier and this is now the disavowed Task Force 141. And this one is the Trinity Rocket, which I think I've already got as well. That's quite the score. Now these aren't dupe protected, so I, I might not be getting anything out of these. This is just a random gesture or taunt. So we'll start with this one. Ox Dead Beef, that's for Synaptic. That's the one where he jumps at the screen and slices the screen, if I'm not mistaken. It's a weird name for it, for sure. Shovel Gesture. Oh, there's a gesture that has a shovel in it now. I didn't know that. I've got three rare or better gestures, so we'll go with those next. I'm watching you. Pretty uh, world-renowned gesture right there. Fingers crossed. I don't think I've ever seen that one before either. Again, I haven't opened up supply drops in a long time in this game, so. I love you, gesture. How is how is the devil horns I love you? I, I don't I don't understand that one, but Okay. These contain a rare or better taunt. So we've got three taunts here. Negative taunt. Okay, not sure what that is. I think the rares are available for all the characters. The epics are available for specific characters or something like that. Like, I know there are, there are character-specific taunts. Like, we just got Baller. I, I don't know what that is. I think that might have something to do with basketball. Or, I know there's some sports ones in here that... Uh, three rare weapon camos. Rare triple camo hack. Cool, cool, cool. Rare camos are kind of meh. If you ask me, camos in this game in general are kind of meh. That's a legendary camo. This is this is two. I've got two legendary or better calling cards. Contains three cosmetic items. We'll see what cosmetic items are. Sage Phantom Head. Nice. That's an that's an epic. I'll take an epic. Sure. Why not? 
There's my epic supply drop that I mentioned earlier, but we're not going to get to that one just yet. That's an epic weapon camo, a rare or better SMG. So we've got two rare SMGs. Trencher Gamma. Cool, that's a legendary SMG, and that's from the Quartermaster Collection. Like, hell yeah. That's exactly why I'm opening these before my Quartermaster Collection exclusives. And the Erad Scalpel Mark II, which I think I've already got. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, Quartermaster Shotgun Hack cont contains a rare, better shotgun. This was the most recent hack. I just bought a couple just because I had a ton of keys and I wanted to buy something. My, uh, my buying finger was getting itchy. So I could have saved like 300 or so keys if I didn't buy these. But I mean, hey, I just got the Rack 9 Smoothbore, which I don't have yet. So, um, yes, it's a good thing that I bought these, even though they're rare or better. But you see how that works? I bought the rare or better, and now an epic weapon... If that that could have got me the Rack 9 Smoothbore, but now it won't because I've already got the Rack 9 Smoothbore. Actually, that's not too protected. I'm, I'm lying. A dupe protected one. There are some dupe protected in here somewhere, but if there was a dupe protected, it's not going to give me the Rack 9 Smoothbore anymore. So we've got an Epic Weapon Camo. And it's a three item one. Nice. Irradiate Shotgun Camouflage. Looks pretty cool. It looks like it's going to glow or something. I think the epic camos in this game are the ones that move. Uh, two legendary or better calling cards. There's Rabbit Hole. That's one of those neon, funky 70s ones. And Radiant, another one of those ones. Okay, cool. So there's our two legendaries. We've got a legendary camo. Golden Dragon, which is one of the classic camouflages in this game. If you haven't used Golden Dragon, I would recommend it. I like it a lot. But that's a, that's a classic camouflage. Uh, we've got an epic weapon accessory. I don't really care about weapon accessories, so sure. Jackal. A majority of weapon accessories are legendaries or epics in this game, if I'm not mistaken. We've got an epic gesture or epic taunt. Surgical Strike, which I think I already have, or at least I've seen it. That's the one where they throw the bio spikes, I think. I'm not 100% not sure. Epic Calling Card. I'm opening these ones without a second guess because these are just cosmetic items. It's not weapons. When it comes to weapons, we're getting down and dirty, which we're getting right down to those, uh, those weapons right now. So those are Quartermaster Collection prototypes, Duke Protected Epic Mark IIs, Legendary Mark II SMG, that's one Legendary Sniper, two Legendary Weapons, this is a rare or Legendary Weapon from the Quartermaster Collection, an Epic Supply Drop, Epic Weapon Hack, and a Legendary or Better Assault Rifle. So I'm going to go with all of the things that say Legendary now that we're done all of our rares. And we've got the Exion Warsight, nice, that's what we're talking about, this is what we're going for, the Epics from... The Quartermaster Collection. Now, when I open up my Quartermaster Collections, I'm probably not going to get that. So, right on. That's exactly what I was looking for. We've got a, a Legendary Sniper Rifle. Now, this is guaranteed Legendary. So, the KBS Longbow Affliction. Not the greatest one. The Glacial doesn't really work well because you're one-shot killing enemies. A Legendary Mark II Submachine Gun. Which is the RPR Evo Fission. Which I might have. I, th I definitely have the the regular variant of that anyways. A rare or legendary weapon from the Quartermaster Collection. Trencher Air Raid, which I might have already unlocked in this supply drop opening. Not entirely sure. Like I said, I don't think the duplicate salvage works for some of these. One Dupe Protected Epic Mark II weapon. So that's the one we're going to wait till the end for. Guarantees one Quartermaster Collection prototype, two legendary weapons, so we'll do this one. Wreck Wasteland, Exion Farseer, there's another uh, Exion out of the good old Quartermaster Collection. One epic item, that's, that's an epic supply drop. I'm going to do the Quartermaster Collection prototypes. These aren't dupe protected, I thought they were dupe protected, and so that's how I was kind of going through this. And we got the Salvo, look at all these epic variants, this is going to be... A crazy time for me trying to make all these epic variant reviews. They're a little late because, well, the game's a little old, but I mean, I'm sure you guys are probably interested in seeing them anyways. 
the Atlas Vanquisher. I've already got the smoke screen. We've got two more. That was lucky to get that uh, to get that epic out of here because these are just random. Any item from the Quartermaster Collection. And that Quartermaster Collection is huge now. Like we're talking 70 items in that Quartermaster Collection. So to get an item that I don't have, an epic at that, is really great. And the Atlas Overwatch Tech Savvy. I've never seen that ability before. That must be a new special ability just for that weapon. All right, we've got Quartermaster Do Protected. And this is an epic weapon. So we'll do the epic item first. Let's see what we've got here. The Banshee Siren, which I've already got. So that definitely wasn't too, too protected either. We just got that earlier in today's opening. The epic weapon is next. Because it could give me an epic mark too. And it's the Mauler Sentinel, which I haven't yet unlocked. So that can be in the poll as well. I think I have too many epic weapons now. Then I can put in the poll. But it's crazy how many supply drops I had to open, how many items, how many hacks I had to go through to get the small amount of epics that I did. Even counting all of the duplicate epics, I think I've only seen maybe 10, 15 epic items in this opening so far. The world's largest opening. And I've only seen like 15 epics. I don't know, feel free to go through and count all of the epics that you've seen so far, but I mean, I'm about to open five more. But this is a very special Epic Mark II hack. This was part of the quad feed or part of the triple play. One of the ones that cost like 500, 600, something like that. Crazy. Maybe even 800 keys to get this one. So I bought that one a bunch of times. So, I mean, if you counted up all the keys I've spent on all these items, man, that is a lot of keys. You don't, you probably couldn't even count that high. The Wrecked Mark II. I have the Wrecked, the standard Wrecked. But these are all Mark II no, non-dupes, so I'm, these are all going to be new weapons to me. Nunchucks! Holy shit, we got the nunchucks. Those are brand new as of today. Unfortunately, they're Mark II, and so I can't review them with my Epic Variant Review series. They're going to have to wait until I somehow find the nunchucks, the regular nunchucks. And while we're on the subject... Why, why nunchucks? Why were nunchucks added to the game? I'm so, like, of all the melee weapons you can think of, like, there are better options than nunchucks. Come on. Like, galvan knuckles. Bring back galvan knuckles. Like, that would make sense in a futuristic setting. I already have the Reaver Rodeo. It's another one of those epics that I've never made a video on that I probably should at some point. The base Reaver Rodeo, anyways. DMR1 Spectacle. This Not bad. Which I got the standard DMR1 spectacle earlier in today's video. You know what? Maybe I did get a little more than 15. I might have had like 25, 30. And the Ripper submachine gun. Unfortunately, I don't have the base Ripper. But I mean, I've already made a video on that using my buddy's account. So I mean, I can use that myself. Throw a camouflage on there and no one will be the wiser. So that was a lot, a lot of opening stuff. And you know what? We still have... It's only 43 minutes, man. Like, pfft, that's like no time at all. I'm going to open up the rest of these keys. Might as well. It's only like 15 or so supply drops. And there's a katana. Holy shit. Good thing I opened it. Good thing I opened those. I just got the epic katana. And that's the Mark 1. So I can use that in a review. Guys, you, there is going to be a split decision in this epic variant review poll. I'm going to post this thing with four brand new weapons. And you guys are going to freak out on which one you want to see first because like the options are amazing how after all of that after all of those hacks and then the first regular supply drop i open is the katana that's insanity that's quite the score the ripper modular oh man i'm so pumped to get into this game start using some of these weapons and unfortunately after this after this recording i have to go and play destiny so damn it <laughs> So many good options, so many new epics. The M2187 Shadow and the Hunter Synaptic Head. That one's very, very old, that Hunter Synaptic Head, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if I'll have enough keys to land perfectly. I don't think I do. Enough to land perfectly at zero keys. I might have to open up some commons at the end. A couple rare items there. More double XP tokens because... Oh, pff, double double XP tokens. 
quad feed XP tokens. Wouldn't it be cool if you could open up boxes and get double key tokens and like double your keys for each round? That would be, that's a money maker right there. That's a good idea. Banshee Doppler. There's another epic. Holy shit. I'm opening up regular supply drops now, Infinite Warfare. What are you doing? Giving me all these epics. Like, what? This is add-on. This isn't even the full supply drop. This isn't even what I was planning to do. And you're giving me all the epics now? That's insanity. See, traditionally, I didn't think I would have time to open up these. So I would have opened up these rare supply drops before the rest of my hacks. Because... Obviously, you don't want to use all these before your hacks that are due protected. But, I mean, now that I'm opening them after, I'm getting more beneficial items. Now, I'm going to have 10 keys remaining. So, I'm going to have this discrepancy. I'm going to open up the common right now. Just take the hit. Three common items. That's totally okay. It's a common supply drop. What do you expect? And now, back to rares. I have two more rare supply drops to open. Guys, this has been... The world's, potentially, the world's largest in-game currency only Call of Duty Infinite Warfare supply drop opening of all time. And it will likely be my last supply drop opening for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's almost October. World War II is just around the corner. I may have another opening coming up for Modern Warfare Remastered if they add new weapons over there. Even if they don't add new weapons, I'll probably open up some supply drops and see what we can find in that game because i don't have all the weapons yet some of the newer weapons i still haven't got i haven't played that game in a while so we'll have to get over there and see what's going on but holy crap 46 minutes i crammed a lot of content into today's video other other supply drop openings that i've seen last like two hours three hours long i don't trust my capture card to go that long that's why i rushed through those initial supply drops but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed this massive supply drop opening. If you've seen a bigger supply drop opening, link it in the comment section down below. Or, you know, let me know on Twitter. Tweet at me, whatever. I'd like to see if there are bigger supply drop openings out there because I haven't found one. This is pretty large for in-game currency only. That's the only thing. Don't, don't show me videos of people spending thousands of dollars like multiple times the size of my paycheck on COD points because I'm not interested in that. I think that's the lamest way to get ahead in this game. I grinded my ass off for all these items and I hope you guys are grinding your asses off too or at least you grinded your ass off when the game was still really popular. I apologize for waiting so long to give this video to you guys. I've just been holding on for this stuff. I've been holding on for dear life hoping that Infinity Ward would add in some base prototype lab in-game weapons, the weapons that we had at the beginning of the game, but it seems that all they want to do is add in Quartermaster collection weapons and uh, new DLC weapons and stuff. The new DLC launcher, the Venom X, doesn't even have variants because it's a launcher and launchers don't have variants in this game. How crazy is that? But it's been, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been a little over eight months since in Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward put new base weapons in the game, base variants. And that was the same time that they added the Mark II variants, which ruined the loot pool for a lot of people, myself included. But we still got a lot of items here. Like I'm I'm pretty stacked up like for weapons. Like I've got almost every assault rifle, not the butcher, but we've already reviewed the butcher. We've already reviewed all of these weapons, I believe. That's every we've reviewed every assault rifle in the basic prototype lab smgs the cerberus i think i haven't reviewed that one i should probably get on that i can i can afford that one the bosazoka we've reviewed the ripper we've reviewed but we own i've owned i own the ripper mark ii now and maybe even the bosazoku mark ii lmgs the liberty we have that that was i bought that one with my keys with one of those special lm get an epic lmg for like 100 keys or whatever it was so i just went ahead and bought that Harbinger we've reviewed, the Big Brother we've reviewed, the Osiris, which I just got today, we'll be reviewing that one soon. I've had the Mark II for a while, but never the Mark I. The Spectacle, I'm not entirely sure that we've reviewed that one or not. I, I know I had planned to do it at some point, but I, I, maybe I never got around to it. I honestly don't know. Inf Infinite Warfare has been a crazy time for me. It's been a, It's been a long year. 
I can't even remember this stuff. The Machete, I have not reviewed, and I didn't get it in today's video, unfortunately. The Rodeo, I don't think I've reviewed either, but I did get that one a long time ago, and I haven't reviewed it yet. Siren, Doppler, those are both done. I need to do the Masochist yet, but I don't have it. The Epitaph, we've done. The Smooth Bore, I've been planning to do for a while using my buddy's account, but now I have it for myself. So maybe we'll get to that one eventually as well. Handguns, we still need to do the Switchblade. I don't think I've covered it yet. The Kaiken, I haven't covered, though that one's kind of a weird one. And the Ordnance, I have done, I think. Or at least I plan to do it and I hadn't done it yet. And then in terms of the Mission Team Depot, we're done all of those. Quartermaster Collection, let's take a look at some of these epics. We got the War Site today, which I've already covered. We got the Salvo, which I need to cover, so maybe we'll put that one in the poll. The Fusillade I've had for a while, so I'll probably put that in the poll. The Headsman I may put in the poll as well, just for a fun one. Or the Masamune, Assassin build, faster melee speeds and kills cause enemies to gore into bits, which will not reveal their death locations. That's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but those are all the epics from here that I've that I've gotten been able to get so far. I don't know if that's all of them. Like, where is where is the atlas gone? Oh, it's right there. It's up here. Okay, they just added more in this row. There's 16 in this row. There's 14 in all the other rows. And then of course the Mark II collection. I mean, I need a shit ton of Mark IIs, but that's because I haven't opened a lot of supply drops since the Mark IIs came out. So that would be why. But I mean, that is just about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I won't go through all of the uh, gear that I got for fear that my capture card is going to give out. It's probably at the end of its rope right now, 51 minutes. Extremely long video, and so if you stuck with me to the end, dude, thank you so much. Hit the like button if you haven't yet already. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. All of my links are in the description down below. My Twitter link, my Patreon link, which you can support the channel for a small monthly donation of $1 a month. You can also subscribe, or is it subscribe, or is it sponsor? I think it's sponsor. You'll have to go to YouTube Gaming to sponsor the channel, but that's like $4.99 a month or something like that. You get special emotes, like a little special symbol on your name. I'm not exactly sure how it works. It's this new feature on YouTube. You can check it out if you want, but I would... I would push you towards patreon more than the sponsorship thing on youtube that's a little weird i'm not i'm not all for that but if you have a bunch of people a bunch of youtubers that you'd like to support and you can't pledge them all on patreon what you can always do is check out youtube red it's a subscription service for youtube that you get no more ads on youtube and it's like i think it's like 10 or 15 dollars a month but it's no ads on YouTube. You can watch YouTube on your phone. You can uh, actually turn your phone off. You know how you have like a background music playing or whatever. You can turn your phone off and listen to your YouTube while, while your phone is off. There's like a bunch of cool features. And that supports everyone that you watch on YouTube. That is super helpful to everyone. So if you want to support a lot of people at once, YouTube Red is the way to go. But I feel like a YouTube spokesperson at this point so I'll just let you do you. If you want to support, you can support. If you don't, well, that's fine too. I'm going to go play some Destiny 2. The Faction Rally is on. I need to make that video for you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the Supply Drop opening. What's the best thing you ever got out of a Supply Drop opening of your own? Let me know in the comment section. And my God, b Tide, shut up and go home. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.